Welcome back. We're trying to get to uh, school, but apparently this isn't the way to get there, so... Let's head back and check out this exit, which leads to the park, apparently. Nice looking park, except for the ridge. Nothing adds more to the tranquility of a city park than a huge rusty iron bridge. Quite. This guy's out here all day long, all year. He never stops painting. Ever. And I doubt he's ever finished even one painting. Old iron thingy. Great description. I can't even begin to guess what that's supposed to be. Well, I'd say it's either a lantern or a, or a garbage uh, can, or maybe a mailbox. No, nah, garbage isn't most likely. Very cubist, and not my style at all. To the academy. That's where we're trying to go. So let's go there. Bishop and Anne Marie. Bishop and Anne Marie. He's a photography student. She's in my life study class. Nice couple. No, I've got too much to do right now. Apparently, the future has terrible fashion sense. It's the official Vava notice board. Only registered students are allowed to put notices up here. I was trying to read the notices, but that's apparently not possible. It's a flag. V-A-V-A. -A. The Venice Academy of the Visual Arts. World renowned. Prestigious. Expensive. And my future alma mater. If all goes well with the exhibition and I get my grant, that is. Oh. In that case, you'd really better start working. That's Mary Sam. Vava's founding mother and pro-Venice activist back before the riots. She was assassinated by a corporate hired gun right after the school opened some 90 years ago. The Venice Academy of the Visual Arts. Well, let's go inside. Art books. There's a really nice one here on Turner. Love his landscapes. Somebody's thrown away a rubber glove. Well, you never know when you might need one. Why would somebody toss out a perfectly good work glove with just one big hole in it? What a terrible, terrible waste. Well, probably they did it because it has a big hole in it. It's a rubber glove, but it's pretty useless with that big hole in it. Then why are you carrying it around? Because this is an adventure game and we carry useless stuff around. That's what we do. Olaf's on a roll. Again. Does that guy ever run out of inspiration or energy? Must be the cold Norwegian winters. Nothing else to do but paint. Consider this uh, game is from uh, Scandinavia. I guess they'd know. Don't want to disturb him. Nice, very Van Goghish, with just a hint of Munch. I don't know enough about art to uh, know what that means. <laughs> I mean, I know both of those painters, but I really don't know enough about their style to be able to imagine what that painting uh, looks like just based on that description. Let's go upstairs. That an interesting looking creature. It's a hollow sculpture. Emma's really good with the hollow sculptor, and her imagination is so vivid. Good thing we're best friends, or I might be jealous. 
I actually know what that is. And if you've played this game, you probably do as well. If you haven't, then you don't. These sinks are as old as the building itself, but at least they've been renovated quite recently. Some books on color, composition, and... duck hunting? Hmm. Somebody's been mixing the books. Those sketchbooks belong to some of the other students who share the space. Those are some of my most recent sketches. Unfortunately, they serve only as a barren testament to my lack of inspiration. Art books, mostly. I've browsed through all of them, looked at the pictures, but I'd much prefer to see the paintings in real life. Acrylic and oil paints. I can only think of two things more depressing than a blank canvas. Death and taxes. Hmm. Oh, I guess we gotta paint. I'm way past finger painting. I need a paintbrush and palette. So happens there's one over here. The tools of my trade. The best thing about working up here is that nobody borrows my stuff. Can't, can't even look at the paintings. Hmm. Oh, let's do some painting. That's why we came here, after all. I'm way past finger. You have a paint version palette. I guess we need to uh, use it. We don't get to see what she's painting. Ooh, another girl comes up. Who could that be? Hiya. Emma? Hi! I didn't expect to see you here today. Me neither. Are you busy? Nah. Well, I am. But I was about to wrap up for today anyway. Why? What's going on? I have an important message for you. Yeah? From whom? Believe it or not, girlfriend, but it's from Cortez. Cortez? Excuse me? He said to tell you that he wants to meet you, these are his exact words, where children visualize their dreams. Visualize dreams? What's that supposed to mean? Me? I was hoping you would know. That's the thing about um, creepy old men who talk about destiny. They never say anything straightforward. Did he say anything else? Nope, that was it. Why does he want to meet you? Oh, don't tell me. You guys are having a secret love affair. Oh, yeah. We're eloping and flying to Africa tonight. It's all been happening so fast. My heart's a flutter. <sighs> How romantic. I couldn't imagine a better catch than Senor Cortez, the Latin lover. <laughs> Did he talk to you about nightmares? No. Why? I don't know. It's just... My dreams are really starting to bother me. There you go again with dreams. You're obsessing, April. They're just dreams. Sometimes a banana is just a banana. Cigar. <laughs> and that's actually one of the options. I'd forgotten that. Cigar. Cigar? What do you mean, cigar? Sometimes a cigar is just a cigar, not a banana. Whatever. The point is, you're reading too much into your dreams. I'm sure they're perfectly logical. Yeah. Even a talking dragon? Is a talking dragon logical? Very. Especially a talking... dragon? You had a dream about a dragon? Okay, that's not logical. That's just silly. Still, this ought to be interesting. Go on. Well, there was a dragon. We've established that. I think we established that already. You had a dream about a dragon. Not just any dragon, though. A talking dragon. 
Yep, we've been through that. Talking dragon covered. What did it say? She. It was a she, a female dragon. What, you could tell from the skirt, high heels, and lipstick? Don't mock me, Emma. She said something to me, something about being the mother of the future. She probably said time to get up and go to school, April. If you don't want to take my dreams seriously, I'll just stop telling you about them. Is that a promise? Like you're in any position to make fun of my dreams? Have you looked at your sculptures lately? Oh, that's low. I'd punch you out if I wasn't so hungry. You want to go get some lunch at the fringe? Um, well, I guess we'll answer that in the next video.